Jesus gave the perfect answer. So Jesus is the greatest on this particular standard. What yeah. is your answer to Good. that? May I have your book open as it is? Yes. I want to read that verse in your Bible. Not the Bible, not on the text. No, the, the text, text is I, who is the greatest. I am talking who? number one. You are deceiving the people by quoting something from a new Bible. No. When look, you must tell me now that this Bible is rubbish. I should throw this away. In another occasion of Sheikh Ahmed Didat's lecture in Durban, South Africa, this German missionary again came forward to ask questions very enthusiastically as if he wanted to invite Sheikh Ahmed Didat to debate. However, this missionary did not expect, after he issued all his attacking questions, Sheikh Didat turned all his attacks back on himself which made him speechless. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I'm very thankful for this talk tonight, and I think, you know, I agree with you in many points, in particular that Muhammad is definitely a very great leader of his people, and he has, he has done many... Lift the mic up. Sorry. He has done many positive things, I think, for his people, for the Arabic, Arabic people, and I think in very many respects, Muhammad is a person who has brought, uh, even in our days, perhaps, or he, is, he can be called, even in our days, one of the greatest people, I must admit to this point. But I think there's one question, I think, which is on my mind. Uh, I think we all admit that the Rolls Royce is the best car. Now, maybe some people, they will say it's a Mercedes. But yet, although the Rolls Royce is the best car, it cannot fly. It cannot fly. So I think oh, the question must be, according to which then standard is Muhammad the greatest? What is the standard? Now, you ask the question in your talk, what was the mission of Christ? Now, the mission of Christ was clearly said in the, in the gospel, you read in all the gospels in the beginning. The mission of Christ was that he is a lamb of God who takes away the sin of mankind. In other words, the whole mission and the purpose of Christ was to bring men into unity with God. Sorry, now, uh, can you put a question? Yes, now I'm, I'm actually, you know, answering his question. He brought the question, I would like to answer his question here, and I'm coming finally to my question. Um, secondly, you quoted John 17, verse 1 and verse 4, and there it says, you know, Jesus did not say this particular question, passage, you know, we must put these things right. He doesn't say, it is finished there. He says, the time has come to glorify me, to glorify your son. Now, that was the beginning of this, uh, the crucifixion or the being uh, taken prisoner and then being crucified. And then we read in verse 4 what you quoted, those people have got eternal life who believe and know God and Jesus Christ his son. And then two chapters later only, when he was caught and so on, and when he was on the cross, he said the words, it is finished. In other words, he said, I have accomplished the task for which I have come. Now, the question, who is the greatest? Christ came to give us life eternal. Muhammad came to do many things, to deal with practical matters like you, how to use a toilet and other things. But the greatest question is, I think, and the greatest purpose is, how, how do you and I get reconciled with God? How do I have eternal life? You haven't answered this question. You mentioned many things on a social, historical, political, military aspect. But the standard of God and the question of God is, how can I attain peace with God? Jesus gave the perfect answer. So Jesus is the greatest on this particular standard. What yeah. is your answer to Good. that? May I have your book open as it is? Yes. I want to read that verse in your Bible. The one you say, John chapter 17, 3 and 4. What does it say there? Could you, could you get your microphone? I'll bring it by with you. Okay. Now, this is eternal life. I read it, this is life eternal, same thing. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Word for word, choice of words, same meaning. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Completing the work in the authorized King James Version, it says, I have finished. This is the new international version of mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. The King James Version says, I have finished the work that you have given me to do. Now, do you take exception to that translation? Um, 
I think we must be very clear here. As you, you must see the... No, the word finished. Yes. The word I got is not from... This is the King James Version of the Bible, which is the Bible used by pre predominantly the whole Christian world. This new international version of yours is something novel to the bulk of mankind. No. Look, as against the King no. James Version, mm -hmm. this is the Bible that is translated into other languages. This one, not no. that. No. The new international version has been translated from the original text of Hebrew and Greek. What, what? Not from the King no, James no, what, Version. What year was this first printed? Not uh, very recently. But tell, according tell to the no, original no, no, just, manuscript. Just, just tell me when was this printed? I think it was in 81. 1981. I think it was 81. Right, that's three years ago. This one was first published in 1611. Yes. yes. Right? And right. this was the only Bible available up to almost yesterday. No. Before you I had that almost, letter. Please, please. I, I understand my simple language. I said, this was the only Bible. Look, when I was a young man, there was no other Bible that you could buy. But can we come this. back to the topic, Mr. Dilat? We are right. diverting from the topic now. We're talking about the Bible, not on the text. No, the, the text, text is I, who is the greatest? I am talking, who? number one, you are deceiving the people by quoting something from a new Bible. No. When, look, you must tell me now that this Bible is rubbish. I should throw this away. You must tell me that. And you must tell all the Christians that DRC, they follow this. The, 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 uh, the Zulus, they follow this, the Chanas, everybody. In Arabic, this is the only Bible available. In, in yes. Urdu, this is the only Bible available. Now, if Jesus said it is finished, that my work is finished, now does finish means finish? Will you have a look at it? Jesus says here very clearly, and you see the talk, see please, people, see the context. And this is life eternal, life eternal. He came to give life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. And I have glorified thee on earth, he on earth. Glorified God. Finished, he glorified God on right, earth. Thee, of course, yeah, God. Yeah. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to I do. I have finished. Right? Let me just carry on. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So here you see already Christ has finished so far his job on earth. On earth. No, not but so far. That so far, don't put your words inside the Bible. Does it say so far? Please read the Mr. Bible. Mr. Dida, does Keep the Bible stop here? Does the word of God stop here? Now that's finished. What about the two chapters later on where it says in the same Bible like right, yours? Right. May I just quote yes, this in yes, your Bible? You, yes, you go, have ahead. Here. go ahead. Where Jesus Christ says, says clearly on the cross, when they, when they crucified him and two others with him, on either side, one, and Jesus in the midst, Pilate wrote the title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Now let me just find the other portion where it says here, it is finished. A little bit later, I marked it in my Bible, it's easy to find. Let me explain to my brethren here. You see, this word finished in John chapter yeah, 17, in 13, chapter 17, it says finished. Again, the same word finished is used later on maybe after a year maybe after six months maybe after six weeks same word finished is used now the translators of this bible they can see that you can't have two times you say finished so they change the word look this is how the tricks that they have been playing it's going on this game is going on eternally never as soon as it doesn't suit them look the word there is finished the other place it says it is finished so you can't have finished the job twice to get your pay when you finished it, you get your pay. You can finish one job, uh, one half no, of the money. If he said the job, the whole job that God had given him, for you granted him authority over all people. Now this is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God, not Jesus Christ. You, you, in in in, in the old English is the singular, 
the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work. I said, look, by finishing the work. What is, what is the difference between completing and finishing? But now, the trick is that the, if you use the word finish, as the, author, as the writers of the King James Version had done, and you use again his finished, he said, but he had already finished the job. Didn't he get his pay? Now, that other finish, you see, is a man saying, I am dead. Look, that finished job is that he's dead, I'm dying. This is what he's talking about. It is finished with me. You know, something comes along like that young man, he came along with those questions and it seemed it was finished with me. Am I right? In other words, I couldn't understand, I couldn't grasp it. What am I going to tell him? You know, the whole thing is like a confusion, like a riddle, like a conundrum. So it was finished with me. Now what finished? That means I was dead? No. In other words, you feel, man, that you are helpless. Jesus Christ same, he says, it is, if he said those words. Number one, we contest the words, but the words are in your Bible, in that Bible. I'm consistent. I'm not using one from here and one from there. Right. Here he says finished. Either when he said finished, he meant finished or he was deceiving. He wasn't speaking the truth. He's telling God, I finished the job and now do your job. Did you forget that Jesus said, when he used the word, I have finished the work which thou gavest to me. Right. That Jesus prayed to the Father and he says, and now Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. In other words, here Jesus Christ says, the work of God continues in his life. Christ said, you have to resurrect me. He speaks here already. He was ready to do the will of God perfectly to the end. And the glorification of Jesus Christ took place when Jesus Christ was risen and he was alive. And you proclaim that forgiveness of sins that, has been that is the subject, so he is the greatest. That yes. is the subject we are discussing on Saturday in but the city hall. My question was, my final question is on this point. No, no, Isn't Jesus Christ the greatest because he gives eternal life? He says, he said himself that there is somebody coming after me. No. No, now you say no. You say, now you say it's the Holy Spirit. Now this is what it means now you want to debate with me. And if you want to debate with me, the privilege is yours. You see, if you want to debate any subject, all that I've been dealing with so far, all the subjects in the future, it would be your privilege, your privilege, I'll gi I'm giving you, look at me, look at me, look at me, I'm giving you the privilege of organizing a meeting, you organize a meeting here in Cape Town on any subject, whether on the crucifixion, whether Jesus is God, whether the spirit of truth is Muhammad or the Holy Ghost, anything, you organize the meeting and we, I will come along and address that meeting. Then you can, we can have a debate. But here is now question time, and I say, finished is finished. When the man said he finished it, and he's asking his reward, right? So unless, again, he's speaking with a tongue in his cheek. Oh. Next Mr. question. 